Over the last 10 years, the most common problem that we have seen in patients after they've undergone a hip surgery are joint stiffness and pain. The joint stiffness and pain is not just at the operated hip, but also tends to include the knee on that same limb. The pain as well as fear of pain results in them moving as little as possible on the bed and avoiding having to leave the bed to avoid the pain. This also causes them to lay on their backs, refraining from turning from side to side, which also results in stiffness at the hip as well as the knee. Hip fracture rehabilitation usually will take around 4 to 6 months. In the early phase of rehab, we focus more on early mobility, such as moving on the bed and get out of the bed as soon as possible. The second idea is to prevent muscle weakness from happening. This is when we strengthen all the muscle, especially on the affected side. Apart from that, upper limb strengthening also will be included as it plays a significant role to help them to use walking frequent and walking. Okay? So as a patient gradually stronger, we start to introduce more exercises, which includes sit to set exercises, balance exercises, and gait training in order to prepare patients for walking and transport. Following hip surgery, there are protocols that act as a safeguard measure in order to help patients for a speedy recovery. It is important to maintain the protocol to avoid other complications such as fracture and also dislocation. This structure is very fragile, especially on the early phase. To conclude, hip fracture is not a complicated condition. Through a proper rehab plan and care, it can be easily managed and the patient can be fully recovered. If you have any inquiry, come.